Thanks for joining us on another edition of the Watching Adams podcast. My name is Danny Ladoni. Today, we are here with Andres Herrera. He is a custodian at Adams State University and has worked at Adams State since 2005. He contacted me recently because one Saturday, he was taking a lunch break in the McDaniel Hall parking lot on the main Adams State campus when he was approached by a police officer for suspicious behavior, and he was in Informed that the president of the university, Beverly McClure, had reported him for sitting in the parking lot on his lunch break, and it was not clear that he was recognized at that point as an Adam State employee. Andres talks about what this experience was like and how it could be prevented in the future on this edition of the Watching Adams podcast. <music> Yeah, my name is Andres Herrera, and uh, I've been a custodian at Adams State University since July of 2005. All right, so it sounds like you've been at Adams State for about 12 years. Would you overall say that your employment there has been fulfilling, enjoyable, rewarding, those kinds of things? Um, yeah, to some degree. May I ask what you actually do custodial services-wise? Um, just general cleaning of restrooms, hallways, classrooms, stuff like that. Sometimes even, you know, um, setting up for events and, you know, helping, especially during the beginning of the semesters and whatnot, end of end of the semester. And so then I just wanted to pull up the, the reason for me giving you a call today, and we can kind of work our way backwards and talk from there. If you don't mind, I'd like to start by reading what it is that you sent me. Would that be okay? That would be fine. So um, the other day I received uh, an email to Watching Adams, and the email said, So earlier today I was taking my lunch break in the McDaniel parking lot, and President McClure had Adams State Police go and ask me for my ID because they were concerned. I've worked at ASU since July 2005 and park at McDaniel or Leon every morning, and you're willing to tell your story. So that's why I wanted to reach out to you. Can you tell me a little bit about what was happening that day and how this actually transpired? Okay, so um, I usually work Monday through Friday, but um, getting closer to the beginning of the school year, a couple of Saturdays and Sundays, sometimes we will work particularly in McDaniels or um, Richardson Hall to, you know, clean carpets and everything in offices, which we otherwise wouldn't be able to on the weekdays. And so we all were all there as a crew and it came time for lunch and I stayed there just taking lunch in my truck and uh, I was facing in a westerly direction and the sun was hitting me so all I did was turn on my truck and turn it around so it faced east and I just was eating my lunch you know and um, so you were sitting in your truck eating lunch in the yes. McDaniel parking lot yes mm -hmm. sounds very suspicious all right go on <laughs> so it had to have been around 12 30 uh, now, let, keep in mind, let me just kind of um, paint a picture for you here is I was just sitting in my truck with my phone on the steering wheel watching YouTube as I'm eating. So 99% of the time, I'm looking down at my phone and um, every once in a while, I'll look up just to kind of check my surroundings and whatnot. And uh, at one particular time, again, around 1230, I looked to my right and uh, I noticed a woman from the president's house kind of looking at me through a doorway. And then she went back inside. And now when you say when you say a woman from the president's house, did you know that was Beverly McClure or did you just sort of insinuate that based on the location? Did you recognize her? No, this was someone that was not Beverly McClure. This was someone there. And so not even maybe a minute later, the ASUPD pulls up right behind me. They make their way to my truck and just ask how I was doing. And they said um, that they got a call from Beverly McClure that uh, they were concerned about me being in the parking lot because I had been there for quite some time and I was behaving rather suspiciously. And so, Okay, so how long had you been in the parking lot at that point? About half hour. I took a lunch right. from 12 to 1. So you were there for your lunch break as you would often be, right? This is not unusual behavior for you. Exactly. It's not. And the officer who contacted you stated that the reason they were approaching you was because Beverly McClure made this complaint? Yes. It's interesting that they would disclose who made the complaint because that's fairly unusual. They'll usually keep their identity anonymous. Any thoughts on why they would have done that? 
you know, I think maybe, I don't know, maybe to kind of make me more aware, I don't know. But you had made eye contact with someone inside the president's house just prior to that? Yeah, at some point. I mean, it was, I was like in the middle of the parking lot, so it's not like I was even really close to them. I just happened to glance because I felt somebody was looking at me. And the person that you saw, you didn't recognize who they were? No, not at all. And then that was the, that was the initial contact. What did you tell the officer and what happened next? Uh, well, when he came up to me, he was, he was rather professional, real cordial, um, and he told me what I had previously stated that, yeah, gotten a call you know from president mcclure that uh, i was behaving rather suspiciously and they were concerned and so he asked me for some id so um i reached to my pocket and i had my work keys so i produced my work keys and told him these are my keys and then i reached in and grabbed my wallet and gave him my id and he just took my name and looked at my id and then gave it back to me and then told me have a nice day and then um Something else happened not even five minutes later, which uh, there was this loud pop to my right. So that would be in a southerly direction. And a couple minutes later, the same officer pulls up to the side of me and he stayed in his vehicle and asked me if I heard a loud bang. And I told him that I had. And he asked me if it sounded like a gunshot. And I told him I wasn't sure if it was a gunshot or if it was just a firecracker. And so he told me he had asked a woman just down the road if she had heard it. And she said it was to her left, meaning kind of more in my general vicinity. And I told him, well, it was more to my right. So I don't know exactly what happened after that. He just kind of drove off and never saw him again or heard anything about it. So during this time, um, did you identify yourself to the officer as an Adam State employee? Yeah, I even kind of, you know, just told him with disbelief that I was being questioned. I just told him, yeah, I'm a custodian here. I work here. I've been here for 12 years. And so had anything like this happened to you before? Never. In fact, um, there's many times during the school year, I don't buy a parking pass. So I'll park at Leon and walk to McDaniel at six in the morning when it's still dark a lot of the times and nothing like this has ever happened to me. One wonders if this is somehow discriminatory or why it was that regular behavior for you was somehow regarded as suspicious and that as an Adam State employee you were now being stopped and questioned for being in the parking lot on your lunch break. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the nature of that, too, if it's discriminatory or if it's just paranoia. It's kind of hard to tell. I've never experienced any sort of uh, discrimination whatsoever in my tenure there at Adam State. In your, in your effort to reach out to me, what was your initial thinking when you decided that you wanted to contact Watching Adams about this issue? I felt, um, because of what I've heard about Watching Adams and also... I've uh, read the comment section and stuff. I thought this was a place where I could be heard. And it was important to me to tell my story so that this types of things don't happen, not only to me, but the rest of the custodial staff or anyone else for that matter. Again, you know, it's important to me that we all feel safe going to work and leaving work and taking lunch or doing whatever we do through our, our day at Adam State. Well, is there anything else you'd like us to know based on your experiences or something that you'd like to share uh, as someone who reads Watching Adams and who's now reached out about this? Um, I just think that uh, Watching Adams is a great avenue for people to discuss things that otherwise be heard. They wouldn't be heard anywhere else. Um, it's important, I think, that um, these things could be said because a lot of times in going through a grievance process and the chain of command, it's just this vicious circle that it just never seems to end. And it's just, I think it's discouraging to go through so many steps just to be heard. So I think Watching Adams is very conducive to that. Have you considered filing a formal grievance or any other complaint in writing based on your experience being stopped and questioned for sitting in the parking lot in your truck on your lunch break? You know, I was in the process of uh, looking into that. Um, so far, I haven't really gotten too much of anything. And there again, that's why I thought this was one of the better avenues, uh, the best avenue, actually, because I felt it was important, like I said earlier, for it to be heard uh, so that we all feel safe coming to work and uh, being able to take our lunch break or whatever we're doing and be at peace about it, um, not to live in this undercurrent of paranoia and fear mongering that uh, appears to be going on there. Yeah. So, I mean, certainly someone who's worked at Adam State for 12 years and then is approached by an officer on their lunch break for sort of suspicious 
misbehavior because they're sitting in their vehicle watching YouTube on their lunch break in the uh, school parking lot. That certainly is an indicator. Can you get any other sense for uh, a general climate of fear or paranoia um, as you're at work? Are things sort of changing in terms of the attitude or the climate on campus? It seems to me that um, people are saying less. I don't know if that could be attributed to their paranoia or or any kind of living in fear over there or not, but it just seems like people are less vocal, less open. They're more cautious about what they are saying or talking about, and even sometimes just in talking to people um, just about anything, a lot of times they want to not be seen by the cameras and there's, you know, nothing to our conversations except small talk, but it's, you know, one of those things where they just don't want to be seen on camera talking. You see a lot of people that were mainstays at Adam State all of a sudden leaving, and so it, it is a growing concern for me. I just don't know what is going on within the infrastructure there that uh, just everything seems to be undermined. To wrap things up today, What would you like the outcome to be from the incident that you had recently in the parking lot? What would you want the outcome or the resolution to be as a result of what happened? Um, As I had stated previously, for us to be safe, namely the custodial staff, since there are those of us that uh, go in that, you know, when it's early in the morning, it's dark, and there's some that leave when it's dark at, you know, 11 o'clock at night. So I would like for them to know who we are, um, namely um, ASUPD. And in doing so, um, I did speak to another officer on the 6th about that, and he and I both came to that conclusion that they should know who the custodial staff is so that way they could recognize us and this kind of stuff doesn't happen again. Can you tell me just quickly, what clothing do you wear while you're at work? Are you visibly identifiable as a custodian? Yeah, pretty much. I usually just wear like Dickie's pants and an Adam State shirt and I keep my keys on a lanyard and it kind of hangs outside of my pocket. So you can easily see that I have this green Adam State lanyard, you know, in my pocket. But yeah, we're always identifiable as wearing something with Adam State for sure. And when you're in your vehicle, does your vehicle have a uh, an employee parking sticker on it, that kind of thing? Um, it does, but this one that I have, it's probably from like two or three years ago. Yeah, and so it just strikes me as interesting that uh, the purpose of the police being on campus is to ensure everyone's safety, but it sounds like the police contact that you had on your lunch break actually made you feel a little bit less safe at Adam State. Is that correct? Yeah, and it wasn't in the way that the police officer handled things. Again, he handled it very well and treated me like a human being. There was no problem there. It's just the fact that I didn't feel safe just eating my lunch, and it, it did. It made me look beyond that, and you know, especially when it's darker, when we go in in the mornings, uh, how much more safe am I going to feel? And it made me think of you know the whole custodial staff collectively. How safe are we going to feel knowing this happened? What would you say to the president, given that you're um, approached by the police as a result of a call that they state was made um, by Beverly McClure? Um, I would just say, you know, that uh, she should get to know who we are as well. You know, for me, particular, uh, personally, I don't really care if she acknowledges me or, or whatnot, but know who I am, know who the rest of us are, and know that we are there to serve as well in, in, in our own capacity, that that's what we're there for. We're not there for anything more, you know, or anything less. We're there to do a job, and we take a lot of pride in it. So know who we are so these things do not happen again. Is there anything else you want people to know before I wrap up our call today? Just that I feel that, you know, watching Adams is a very good um, place to tell your story if need be. We appreciate hearing from you today and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate you taking time out as well. 